Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Now we are in lesson 4, conversion function and conditional expression, part 3. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the general function. At the beginning of the course, the term null was introduced. Null is the value that is unavailable, unassigned, unknown or inapplicable. Oracle has four general functions that pertain to the use of null values. The four functions are NVL, NVL2, null if, and coalesced. NVL has two expression, expression 1 and expression 2. If expression 1 is null, return expression 2. In NVL2, we have three different expression, expression 1, expression 2, and expression 3. If expression 1 is null, return expression 3. If the expression 1 is not null, return expression 2. For null if, we have two different expression, expression 1 and expression 2. If expression 1 is equal to expression 2, it will return null. If expression 1 is not equal to expression 2, it will return expression 1. Next is coalesce. Coalesce has multiple expressions. However, it will return the first non-null expression that they found in the list. Now, let's take a look on the implementation. Let's take a look at NVL function. Let's say we have select last name, salary, commission percentage from employees. If we execute this one, there are certain employees who has null as their commission percentage and it doesn't look nice to show null to the user. So, we can convert the null to become any, uh, any value by using NVL function. NVL function will have two different arguments. The first one is the column that we want to convert. For example, null. We want to convert this null to become what value? Let's say I want to become 0. So if we execute this one, what we will get, instead of showing null, it shows 0 here. But 0 means this person didn't do any sales, haven't do any sales. So what can we do? We can change this one to become no commission. Okay, so if we change this one to become no commission, we will get an error message. Why? Because of, if we take a look, the commission percentage, it is a number. So if it's a number, means this one is a character. So we need to do a conversion of to char here. So we convert the commission percentage to become character. If it's null, we will convert it to become no commission. So if we execute here, then we will get this answer. So instead of showing null, we show to user now. Let's say we remove this one. We show this user now that this person doesn't have any commission. It's not the commission is zero. So if we execute, this is what we will get. Commission, no commission. If you have a commission, of course they will take the value. 0 0.4 and so forth. So what if we want to calculate full salary of the employees? What does it by full salary here? Commission times salary plus the full salary. So if you take a look here, let's calculate this one. If you have a commission, for example, Russell, the commission is 40% of, uh, uh, of its salary. Then we get the full salary of Russell is 19,600. However, as we know, if we do calculation with null, for example, for King, since King doesn't have any commission, supposedly the full salary to be 24,000. But right now, the full salary of King is null. So this one doesn't look right. So what does it mean? If they don't have a commission, we can convert the commission to become zero. So how to do it? Then salary times NVL, NVL of the commission. If you don't have a commission, the uh, value should be converted to become zero. Okay, then if we execute this one, we will get the correct value. Now since King doesn't have a commission, then the full salary should be 24,000 instead of showing null. Now, 
what if we want to show if that person doesn't have any commission it will show that 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 employees receive only salary but if the commission uh, has a value that person will receive commission and salary so bara what we can do is we can use nvl2 nvl2 will have three different arguments if the first arguments null then it will return arguments 3 if it's not null it will return argument 2 so if we execute this one we take a look king the commission percentage is null since null it will return number 3 which is salary only but if we take a look at russell here okay so if we take a look at russell here so the russell's uh, commission percentage 0 0.4 it is not null when it is not null it will return this string salary plus sorry commission plus salary means to show that this person will have a commission and their salary that's nvl2 let's take a look at null if select first name last name length of first name length of last name then we null if length of first name and length of last name so null if will have uh, two different arguments here the first one is here length of first name the second one is length of last name so let's take a look on the result for you to observe okay so take a look ellen the length is five a bell the length is four but why the result of null if here is five what does it mean here they will take a look length of first name is five length of uh, last name is four so if we null if five and four the result is not the same so if the result is not the same it will return first uh, expression so the first expression here the first expression here is length of first name what is the result of length of first name five but let's take a look at null here why this john chen got null as the result of their uh, null if if you take a look length of first name for null if length first name of john is four length last name of chen is four so we null if four and four if first expression equals to second expression then the result is null so that's the function of null if if the first arguments equals the second arguments it will return null if the first argument is not equal to the second argument it will return the first argument which is five here for this example let's take a look at coalesce function if you take a look here select last name commission percentage manager id coalesce two chart of commission percentage two chart of manager id and the last one no commission and manager okay so we rename this coalesce as result from employees coalesce will return the first non-null expression that they found in the list if you take a look we have three different expression here two char commission percentage two char manager id and no commission and manager so if the commission percentage is null it will take a look at second expression if manager id is null we will take a look at the third expression the third expression has value so no commission and manager then they will return the third expression so let's take a look at the result so if you take a look king the commission is null if you take a look second one manager id is null take a look at the third one we have the value no commission and manager then the result is no commission and manager for hanol here if you take a look the commission is null then they will check second expression manager id is not null then since manager id is not null they return the manager id straight away what if that person has a commission for example russell russell the commission percentage is 0 0.4 the first expression is already not null then they will return straight away 0 0.4 that's all for now see you again in the next part thank you